this year is no joke and it's just taken another legend away from us. Can Eddie Van Halen's demise be connected with his years on stage? How did the music world react to the sad news? And what will we remember Eddie for? The guitar legend is gone. Eddie Van Halen passed away at the age of 65. His son, Wolfgang Van Halen, who played with his father in his band, confirmed the news in a Twitter post. He wrote, He was the best father I could ever ask for. Every moment I've shared with him on and off stage was a gift. Adding that he was heartbroken, Wolf also wrote that Eddie had lost his long and arduous battle with cancer. That's right, we've lost another iconic celebrity to this dreadful disease. Eddie's ex-wife and Wolf's mother, actress Valerie Bertinelli, also posted a tribute to Van Halen on her Twitter. She wrote that meeting him changed her life, and she thanked him for giving her their son. I'm so grateful Wolfie and I were able to hold you in your last moments. I will see you in our next life, my love. Bertinelli finished her post. Eddie Van Halen had been battling with the illness for years. He received his first cancer diagnosis back in 2000. It was tongue cancer, and to fight it, doctors surgically removed one-third of his tongue. According to the guitarist himself, his long-term habit of holding guitar picks in his mouth caused the illness. This is just my own theory, but the doctors say it's possible, he said in 2015. Two years after the surgery, Van Halen was declared cancer-free. But the ailment didn't leave him for good, and five years ago, Eddie began his battle with throat cancer. Despite all efforts, the illness progressed to other parts of his body and eventually took him away from this world. The music world reacts. Since Eddie was such a rock legend, reactions from the music world quickly followed the sad announcement. Ozzy Osbourne wrote in a Twitter post that Van Halen was one of the nicest guys he's ever worked with, and recalled how they had a lot of laughs together. His influence on music, and especially the guitar, has been immeasurable. He was an absolute legend, the iconic musician added. Lenny Kravitz called Eddie a legendary guitar and musical innovator, and mentioned that heaven will be electric tonight. It definitely will be Lenny. Soon afterwards, Kravitz got to talk to People magazine and said that Van Halen changed the perception of the electric guitar. When I was in junior high and high school, Van Halen was absolutely everything. I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to meet him and speak with him, the musician added. Calling Eddie a guitar superhero and true virtuoso, guitarist John Mayer shared an emotional post, admitting that Van Halen was an inspiration for him, yet he never learned to play like Eddie. Mayer wrote on Instagram, I never stopped watching him in adolescent awe and wonder, and I promise you, I never will. Country musician and Nicole Kidman's husband, Keith Urban, revealed that the shocking news hit him hard. He believes Van Halen arrived from a distant planet to bring a new color to the rainbow. Urban added that the reason why Eddie was so outstanding was the exquisite melody in his heart and the joy in his soul of playing four people. Black Sabbath's Tony Iommi, in his turn, wrote that he was devastated to hear the news. Eddie was one of a very special kind of person, a really great friend, the guitarist tweeted. A number of rock bands also paid tribute to the legendary musician. Metallica posted a photo with Van Halen on their official account and captioned it, We considered him an inspiration, an idol, and after spending a summer together on the road in 88, a friend. Aerosmith wrote, Rest in peace, and added that Eddie will be missed. Nickelback called him an icon, innovator, showman, virtuoso, master songwriter, and one of the biggest inspirations. And Pantera revealed that Van Halen was a tremendous influence on their band. Along with a slew of famous bands and musicians, other celebs also joined the morning and shared what they thought about the rock legend. Jimmy Kimmel admitted that the two best hours of his life were spent talking to Eddie and said, A great musician, yes. Also a funny and lovely guy who will be missed terribly. And Mark Hamill sent his condolences to the musician's family, adding that they should take solace in knowing that he will be long remembered and live on forever as one of rock's most extraordinary guitar virtuosos. Eddie will never forget you. Hamill is definitely right because the contribution Eddie Van Halen made to the music world will make him unforgettable for generations to come. He wasn't only a lead guitarist, songwriter, and co-founder of his band Van Halen, Eddie was also an innovator who popularized the tapping guitar solo technique. His guitar wizardry influenced myriads of musicians in rock music and beyond. 
Van Halen even played the guitar in one of Michael Jackson's biggest hits, Beat It. His guitar solo in the song lasted for 20 seconds, and it took him only half an hour to record it. He didn't even get any compensation or credit, because he thought he didn't need it. Van Halen's tremendous work in the music world led to a number of awards and recognitions. Rolling Stone named Eddie number 8 in their 100 Greatest Guitarists rating five years ago, and in 2012, the Guitar World magazine placed him number 1 among the 100 Greatest Guitarists of all time. Rest in peace, guitar legend. Thank you for the inspiration and the music.